We live in a world where communication technology connects us to family, friends and the services we all rely on. The internet enables farmers to check weather and allows us to book tickets online. Flight connections and air traffic control also depend on secure information systems. Power supplies, transport, logistics, shopping, even the way children and students learn are all unthinkable without online connections. Being online is integral, and this relies on us having secure networks. But the internet is under constant threat from crime, attacks and accidents. Attacks can be motivated by political or industrial espionage and may target critical computers in industrial systems. We now also see media reports speculating about states mounting cyber attacks. Business may encounter industrial espionage and citizens, while they may not be spied on, are the target of often sophisticated cyber criminals. It's the European Union Agency and NISA's job to contribute to a high level of internet security for the European community. It works with governments, business and public sector organisations to ensure that Europe's rapidly developing information society remains secure. New technologies and applications are constantly emerging, allowing citizens to live online in ways that we could not have imagined in the past. Tablet computers, smartphones and apps for just about everything mean that we now access information across multiple networks from practically anywhere. Cloud computing also offers new opportunities and challenges and, as the technology evolves, ENISA is working with governments, regulators and industry to assess risks and identify practical solutions to keep citizens secure and support the smooth functioning of Europe's internal market. So we know online fraud is rampant. And that is not really a surprise. Uh, bank robbers are basically going online just like uh, ordinary citizens. And in the past, criminals would skim ATM cards, then they started to commit fraud with credit cards, and now they are attacking the online banking system that citizens use to make banking transactions. And why is it so easy for criminals to take advantage of, of, uh, of these users? Because um, it is very easy to infect uh, PCs at the moment. And just to give you an example, there is, a, there is a virus that has been around since 2007. That virus, you can buy it uh, on the black market for around $1,000. And antivirus systems have not been able to, to, to protect us from this, from this virus. Um, so this is being used by amateurs, by, by organized crime, by anyone really. And a good example is, is what happened in June 2012. And we wrote a nice report about this. It is a, um, an attack called High Roller. And what happened in High Roller, there was a basically a criminal gang that took Zeus, this off-the-shelf virus, and used it in an automated way to empty the accounts of, uh, of a, a small and medium-sized enterprises with some money in the bank. Um, so this is just, that just, just goes to show how easy it is for criminals to, to make money on in, in, the, in the online world at the moment. But we have to realize that this is only about money, and money in the end can always be compensated. Um, if private data gets lost or if, 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 if your reputation gets damaged, then it becomes much more difficult to compensate. So what we have to realize is that there's not only money and the stakes are rising as we are putting more and more data uh, into online systems. ENISA monitors the emerging trends in these attacks and works with member states to prevent and counter them. It works closely with Special Computer Emergency Response Teams, or CERTs, set up by governments and organisations to defend against cyber threats. ENISA helps the CERTs with training, coordination and advice on good practices and information sharing. The need for governments to have fast and effective responses to cyber attacks is demonstrated by recent attacks on government websites and, in the US, attempts to extract information on critical infrastructure, such as electricity distribution grids. For ANISA, providing support for critical information infrastructure protection, CIIP, is a priority. Our communications and information infrastructure is crucial for our daily lives, but now more and more of the other systems we depend on rely on a secure internet. Power grids, water supplies, gas pipelines, even our emergency services, all infrastructure relies on information systems. 
In order to improve the resilience of critical information infrastructures, ENISA has been facilitating cybersecurity exercises for the last three years. Well, there are various types of exercises and uh, you, the objectives of cyber exercises are varying. Uh, you can test, uh, we can test uh, technical measures, we can take test uh, technical solutions, we can test cooperation measures, we can test plans and procedures, uh, we can test uh, people's uh, capabilities. Uh, in this particular exercise uh, and in the exercise that ENISA is, uh, is uh, mostly running and facilitating the series of Cyber Europe, uh, we are interested mostly in the cooperation part, in the pan-European cooperation. The internet and new technologies offer massive opportunities for Europe's citizens and economy to move forward. The cyber and everyday worlds now merge seamlessly to give us the information and services we expect and need as digital citizens. But we need to focus on prevention and on designing better, more secure systems.